Welcome to I Love Stocks. We're going to talk about two stocks today. We're going to kind of have a recap. One of them is going to be FLKS, which I did very well on today, and also is going to be BYND, which we had options in the option room today and had a nice little $10 bounce. So we're going to go right straight to FLKS Flex Pharma. They're going to be having a merger, a merger with um, Solaris Pharma, which uh, will be voted on tomorrow with overwhelmingly support. So I'm pretty sure they're going to go ahead and do this. And so I'm excited about that. But I was telling the room today, I said, I'm just going to head and scalp it. I'm not going to go hold it into the day. It can bounce real good tomorrow. It's bouncing right now after hours. So let's pull up the chart thing was just a beautiful trade today. We were alerted about this yesterday, about how much it would maybe run today. So we got FLKS right out of the gate. It held trend pretty good in this channel, and then finally broke that trend and sold off. I got in this trade and scalped it up to resistance level, which to me was right around the $88 area, right around in here. And about that time, it, I mean, right around in here, excuse me, right around 88.41, and then she went ahead and ran up to 90, 97.79 for a day high. And it broke out of that trend line that I'd drawn up, that little upward channel wedge. So she pulled back, and then I decided, I seen this big, huge knife here, and I jumped in the room, and I said, let's scalp this baby. So I got in it on the second dip right here, and bounced it all the way up to 85 cents and got out again. And then she went ahead and pulled back to support. And then she went ahead and bounced back up to that little resistance line that I had at 90 cents. And then to the end, close the end of the day, she lost that nine EMA, lost a little bit of respect. As you can see, it lost respect here on that first pullback. But once it started to turn around, and I got in real early on this trade, right around 77 cents, and run it up to that trend line that I've drawn previous. And that's what I would have called resistance. And then she went ahead and started pulling back a little bit and she would run right into that 200 EMA. Now these are three different moving averages that I've been using on trading these breakout stocks. One's the 200, the white one's the 34, and definitely the blue one is the nine EMA. So once we crossed down and hit that 34 there, she went ahead and bounced back up and broke out of that trend line and hit resistance right at a little under 90 cents. Had a double top and then failed, and then run back right back up there. Still all the time, this 9 EMA is respecting the 34. Once it started to disrespect that 9 EMA and it fell below it and dropped below that 34, it was time to get out of this trade. So I let the room know that at the time, and that was right around 86.77. So the, for the rest of the day, she went ahead and she pulled back and disrespected that 9 EMA, and we had that 34 cross down over that 200, which really was a support level at one time that failed. So here after hours, and I'm going to pull this up after hours, we bounced up, as you can see right in here, we bounced up after and started respecting that nine again. And here we are with the crossover over the 34 and over the nine right here, which after hours, we're running up here at 85 cents right now. You got some mediocre blocks coming in, but you can tell this is a good after hour run of good. Oh, well, look here. I mean, from 70, 7306, which I'm gonna draw a trend line right there at 73.06, we got the wrong one, where am I, here we go, put that over there, and I'm going to put this 73, 73.03, and she bounced all the way up to 88, so that's a nice little 15 cent scalp right there, if you wanted to take it into after hours, so I'm fairly bullish on this trade still, I think it can pull back, we're going to look back where I think support level is going to be on this for tomorrow when we come in. We don't want it to go no lower than the 73 cents right here. I'm going to mark that in with red. And that's going to be my low support. And I'm going to make that a little bit wider. So we've got this low support level right here at 73. Your, probably your next three are going to be the 81.64, the 79.84 support level. And somewhere right down here, right around 76.35 to 
So let's go ahead and build this up to around 77 cents, 77.15. So within 76.35 and this 77.17 is going to be your third support and then your low support that we don't want it to break any lower than that is going to be the 73. Now the shorts weren't messing with this too much today. They did have their chance at the end of the day to bring it back down but I think a lot of people got a little scared and just wanted to get out of the trade and take their profit especially if they were in from it yesterday and I know many traders that swung this overnight. So this is FLKS. Let's keep a good watch on it. We got a break of resistance up here. I'm going to say right around the 94.64. If we can get above a dollar, we can break above a dollar. We're going to see where we can take this to. And I think I have a 105 resistance on it right now. So 105 is going to be my long target on this thing if it decides to go ahead and have that great volume tomorrow. But I play reverse mergers. I usually wait the next day. You know, I don't like swinging stocks overnight that are less than a dollar. And But this in here had great momentum and great volume on it today. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be BYND. So I'm going to type that in right now. And right now, after hours, FLKS is at 85 cents. So we got BYND. This is a stock that ran up most of the day today. Let's bring this down to a daily one minute and we'll have a look at it. Bring it up to a three minute and see what a three minute looks like. Different time frames. So Miss Vegas called this right out of the gate this morning. She said this was going to run up. It respected that 34 and that 9 all day long. Yesterday it touched down to the 20 to give you an opportunity, I mean to the 200 to give you an opportunity to get in this. And this is the EMAs that I'm talking about. So we respected that nine pretty much out of the morning this morning. She started running up and pulled back and hit that 34 for an entry level. Then she respected that nine most of the day and had a knife, hit that 34 again. Then the rest of the day, it more or less respected that nine EMA. So let's bring us up to daily one minute. You can get a pretty good look at today how it looked. Basically, it pulled back right here to break out of this morning, right to the 200. It hit it a few times on the daily one minute, which to me is a buy signal on a daily one minute chart. Respecting that nine most of the day, we did fail it here, but it touched down and hit that 200, bounced right back up. We had to cross over of the nine over the 34. It still respected it, respected it most of the day. And here after hours, looks to me like we almost hit that high that I had at 174.85. That was my next resistance. So we're going to pull up the 20 day. I'm going to get a little look at how I think this, where this stock can go from here on out. If this can break past the 174.75, we're going to go to 176.69 and maybe hit a resistance of 181.83. I'm not too sure about that. I think it's been in a channel here for a while. It can pull back to the support level that we had today at 162.72. So keep a good eye on this. This is a great options play if you can read the options. And this will have an expiration date of tomorrow, I think, and most people in the room got out of it. And this is BYND. I think it can pull back to about 162.72. I don't it also can pull back to this part right here too. So we got three supports on this trade right now. And I'm gonna draw another one right here at the 167.77. So let's pull up the five day, five minute, and get a look at it. And I see one more right here at 158.97, but that's pretty cheap, pretty low right now. We had see an ascending breakout here pattern where we had kind of hit the highs a couple times and pulled back and hit that 34, but that's what you would call an ascending pattern right there. And then at the end of the day, she went ahead and ran up and hit that 174.75, which I had as a resistance right here. So yeah, it did, it did hit that 174.75. And then she's pulled on back and still respecting that nine EMA. So we're gonna have the low support here at 162.72. Your second support is gonna be right here at 167.77. And your first one's right here at 170.99. And the resistance to break is going to be this 174.75. I 
to bring it up to 176.69. And this is BYND. So that's your market cap for today. The options did real good on this scalp. It was a $10 scalp as a trade, which Miss Vegas said it was up pretty good. And I could pull it up on the on the chalkboard. I would have showed you the play. So this is I love stocks. Please sign up to our Twitter account. Follow us on Twitter. I love stocks. You can go straight to our web page. I love stocks. It'll be posted down below. Hit that link and you can follow us on Stock Twits. We have a Stock Twits account. That's mine. This is Miss Vegas's. And you just hit the follow button and you're on your way. So this is the aftermarket report. The first two stocks we did talk about was FLKS and BYND. And we love stocks.